Hey everybody, Siki here, and I'm coming to you guys with a super duper affordable makeup look. And we're gonna start with this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn, and I'm using that to mute out the discoloration on my lids, and I'm setting that with my Black Radiance Powder. Now, I could use this Maybelline palette, but I decided to bring a little twist to this video, okay? So I'm gonna use this BH Contour palette, not one way, not two ways, but three ways. I'm gonna show you how I use it as a contour, an eyeshadow, and to set my under eye highlight, and that's per your recommendation, all right, you guys? Now, just in case you're ever in a pickle and you have to travel light, just know that you can take one palette and you can use it multiple ways because there are no rules in makeup. It's your prerogative. Mm -mm. You can do what you want to do. Just saying, okay? So I'm using a dark color and a light color on a lid and you get what I'm doing. Now this color right here totally reminds me of Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie and I'm happy about it. Okay, I could not decide which liner to use so I used the black and the blue. So I had to do my happy dance. And one dollar lashes y'all check them out now i accidentally got some blue liner on my lashes so i was like why not make blue mascara and i like it now this is a new highlight that i got from jcat it has a lot of glitter in it so i did not use it as an highlight on like my cheek but i did decide to use it on the inner corner and it worked out totally fine now i'm using an oldie but goodie this is my black radiance oil I think it's like shine protector or something like that, but I'm using that primer. Now I know I told y'all that I'm using products under $10, but I had to break out my peach luster because I totally gave away my LA Girl corrector. And how did I just run out? Like seriously? So I had to make it do what it do, you know, cause I couldn't find my other one. I couldn't find my backup. I had to film this video. Now as for this foundation, what I was showing you was my customized bottle of this Milani foundation. And y'all, I literally have like 50,000 videos on this foundation. So I will try to link them all in this video so that you can check it out later. All right. Now, since we're using products under $10, I figured, hey, let's pop in the Real Techniques Beauty Blender or Beauty Sponge because I like that too. I just, I feel like I don't use it that much, but we brought it on out here now. I was singing that song. Y'all remember that song? It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you. Yeah, that's like, I'm telling my age. But anyway, I brought out my Maybelline concealer in the color deep. And y'all, I heard that the Fit Me, the I think it's like the Fit Me formula. They just came out with like deeper shades, okay? Now, here is where I am about to use this light banana shade. Now I was like, OMG, oh my gosh. Like really, like you just working it on out but it did not last long. So I will not be doing that again. It literally lasts like two hours and I got like mega creasing, but I will use it as an eyeshadow and I will use it as a contour palette, okay? That's what I will do. Now, let me break out my favorite. Y'all know this, Oh, this is like, oh, I just love this contour. It's like the perfect color. This is the NYX Wonder Stick. And a lot of you guys ask me, do I use the highlight shade? I actually never do. It's kind of light. But that contour though, always gets me right. Now that banana shade on my nose was totally working out. Now, this BH Cosmetics powder, you guys know this is one of my holy grail powders. Another one is like the Makeup Forever powder, but that has a little more red in it. So this one gets me right all the time. Now this contour palette or this palette as a contour is, that's how I use it. That's like the number one way I would use this palette. Number two would be an eyeshadow, but I totally wouldn't use it to set under my eyes ever again. Okay. Now e.l.f., this blush palette right here is super duper pigmented. I think this is the color deep. I think the palette is called deep or dark, but it was so pigmented. I had to go back in with my powder brush and like mute that out. Now here is where I was like, highlight jcat no we're not doing that because it's too much glitter so i went into my black radiance highlight or highlight slash contour palette and i went a little high and i just blended that on out with my finger and now life is great and so yeah i think this is the light to medium one that i'm using or maybe it's a medium to dark i will put that in the description box for y'all now make sure you get them edges y'all blend that foundation in those edges okay okay i'm just saying because we can see it on pictures now I am going into this ColourPop color. This is the color Jellies. And then I thought that the Ofra, I think this is called Bondi Beach. I thought it had a little bit of like a shimmer in it or a metallic. So I went over the middle and then neither one of them were like drying matte enough for me. So I went into my Smashbox Instamatte. I don't even know if you want to call this a primer or whatever you want to call it. But I went into that 
and it made life great. And there you go. All right, y'all. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up. Share if you like, because I totally don't mind. And y'all have an awesome, blessed day. And praise the Lord, we made it through this voiceover after like 30 takes. Just saying. Sinky beauty, confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, Sinky beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies, you know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games, it's the Sinky beauty. Yeah, Sinky beauty.